If you get hit by a car and you land on your head and you're not wearing a helmet, you can get anything from a goose egg to a concussion or you can die. I'm Isis Schiffer. I'm an industrial designer. I run a consultancy called Spitfire Industry. She's really motivated by seeing opportunities to make things better. Traditional bike helmets are quite expensive. They don't biodegrade and they don't recycle. They just sit for 10,000 years. And they're big, they're bulky. You don't want to carry them around. So trying to hit all of those three problems was sort of the starting goal. Because once you have the problem, then you know what to do. Eco Helmet is a recyclable, foldable bike helmet uh, specifically directed at bike share users. What makes the helmet work is that the honeycomb pattern addresses the head perpendicular from all angles, so it will absorb a blow no matter where it comes from. Eco Helmet hits a lot of things that I love, which is bikes, sustainability, weird materials, and functionality. I'm really big into cycling, and I think bike share is really great. But I do see a lot of people being scared to ride. Having easy access to bikes is great, but not having easy access to helmets seemed like a big gap. This is the most important part to me. I think that cities are best experienced either on foot or on a bike. She was great at attacking, coming up with a solution, and then being able to back up and say, not quite, and then try it again and again and again until it gets to where it needs to be. Eco Helmet was concepted about three years ago. Well, the design, it was sort of a burst project when I was studying in London. It takes enormous commitment. Everybody thinks that it just dumps out of your head, finished. And it, I don't think it's happened for anybody that way. The hand prototypes that I made were probably like mm, six to eight different iterations before I nailed something that I thought was worthwhile. The factory iterations is maybe another dozen. And I was able to crash test it and get a sense that the material was sound. Since then, it's been trying to figure out how to make it in a sustainable manner that isn't ridiculously expensive and also works. The James Dyson Award is the design award that everybody wants to win. Everybody enters it. That and this one's no strings, it's just solve a problem and show it to us, which is really nice. It is an amazing platform, I'd say maybe more of a catapult. It recognizes your idea. Getting the recognition from this award opened a lot of doors for me. It promotes your idea. Let me get an office, let me hire people, let me take this a little bit more seriously. Because then your phone starts ringing. But it's always amazing to think that somebody else sees what at that time was a student product. It was developed but not finished and thinks that it's worthwhile and that was very, very validating. I, I want to make things that A, make the world more beautiful and B, solve actual problems. And it is important too to step back and just be like, wow, I'm making things that go into the world and give people pleasure or health benefits or ease of life. And that's a nice feeling and, and being able to sort of keep on top of that is important.